If you watched our video on the dark truth about Jamie Lynn Spears, then you'll know that she has been feuding with her sister on Instagram for the past few weeks. On top of that, she put out a video defending herself to the Free Britney movement, but many people did not take her seriously. Additionally, she keeps getting exposed for lying, and today you're not going to believe what she did now. I'm going to tell you all about it right here on IO in just a moment, but first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Britney Spears fans are exposing Jamie Lynn Spears right now after her husband was caught in 4K peeping one of Britney's latest Instagram posts. Her husband Jamie Watson can clearly be seen in an image that was posted by Jamie Lynn herself, checking out a post from his sister-in-law. Eagle-eyed supporters of the Free Britney movement noticed that he was looking at this post from Britney that said, Do you know what really turns me on? What I find incredibly sexy? Kindness. And what fans were upset about though was that her husband was checking out a post that was literally smack dab in the middle of two photos of Britney topless. And the Britney Stan account tweeted about this and said, Not Jamie Lynn's husband checking out the book post in between Britney's teeth. How embarrassing. Other accounts online also thought that it was very strange that Jamie Lynn and her husband would be keeping such a close eye on Britney's social media, especially after Jamie Lynn said that she didn't really care about how her sister wanted to live her life, although we all know deep down that she really cares about what's happening right now. Britney is finally getting the chance to talk about how her family treated her in this 13 year conservatorship, and unfortunately for Jamie Lynn, that meant that she too was going to get exposed. If you recall from the Dark Truth video that I did, Jamie Lynn surprised her sister at an award show. And when speaking about that night, Britney said, I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. This conservatorship killed my dreams, so all I have is hope, and hope is the only thing in this world that is very hard to kill, yet people still try. I didn't like the way that the documentaries bring up humiliating moments from my past. I'm way past all that and have been for a long time. After that post, it became even more apparent that these two simply can't stand each other. Well, at least we know that Britney can't stand her little sister. More fans pointed out the obsession that Jamie and her husband have right now though with Britney's social media and said, Jamie Lynn and her husband are obsessed with Britney. Now what's wild here is that all of this only came about because Jamie Lynn was attempting to defend herself against some critics. These critics had slammed her for implying that Britney's Florida condo was also owned by her. In the caption of the post where she accidentally exposed what her husband was looking at on his phone, Jamie Lynn said, I don't own a condo and I can assure you that no one has ever bought me a place at the beach because I prefer my beach vacations at the Ritz anyways. Simple facts y'all need to stop reaching. Although to refresh Jamie's memory, she did tweet out in 2015, We have a condo in Destin, Florida and it's the best getaway. So it's not really that much of a reach for people to assume that she was talking about the condo that Britney's money had paid for. This comes just days after a report suggested that Britney paid for a condo that Jamie Lynn has apparently claimed as her own on several occasions, despite her assertion that she isn't on her sister's payroll. However, according to tax documents that were obtained by The Sun, Britney had indeed purchased a condo in Destin, Florida back in 2001 before this conservatorship was put into place. Now at the very least, this means that Jamie Lynn has probably been taking advantage of this vacation home for many years, which is actually something that Britney mentioned during her testimony on July 14th. After her June testimony went so viral, the courts did not allow for the July 14th hearing to be recorded again. Although a free Britney advocate managed to make their way inside and reported that Britney said, Britney said her family was vacationing in her beach house while she was locked up in the mental facility against her will. There must be something wrong with you, Britney said, Jamie told her as to why she was there. Now what is super ridiculous here is that the first photo of Jamie's husband creeping Britney's profile was later edited by Jamie and reposted before being deleted altogether. Over top of her husband's phone, she added a banner that reads, he's always working. I mean, if you call keeping tabs on his sister-in-law working, then yeah, I, I, I guess he's been hard at work. But we would love to hear your thoughts on all of this though, so don't forget to drop us a comment down below. And while you do that, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Rapper to Baby Gets Cancelled After Homophobic Rant. Just some guy without a mustache says, the Twitter mob is really eating this man alive right now. Oh, certainly they are. And I, I saw a lot of people too saying that like, uh, anytime that we report on a celebrity getting cancelled, people think it's us that are cancelling them. Not the case. We, I at least haven't done that personally, but we always report on what the internet is cancelling. So that's where that comes from, just for some clarity. Our Sun and Star says, wow, his apology was ridiculously insensitive, but whatever, it'll blow over, shaking my head. Unfortunately, it probably will blow over because that's just how the internet goes nowadays. Taylor Miller says, doesn't surprise me at all. Interesting. It surprised me a little bit. Ghost Town Conqueror says, Who honestly cares, bro? You must have enough to comment. <laughs> and click on the video. <laughs> Strange, strange comments. Tiny Elephant and Kitten says, Oh, come on, I really liked him. Why do you have to mess this up and be homophobic? I don't know, that's why they say don't meet your heroes. <laughs> but either way, guys, that has been the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Or at least try. 
Just double check, because I'm like, is that, did she honestly marry someone that has the exact same name as her? <laughs> I didn't realize that after I wrote it. I just want to double check. Just search Jamie Watson, Jamie Lynn Spears. I'm sorry, editing team. Who is Jamie Lynn's husband? Does it say James Watson or something? It just says her name, it doesn't say his itself. So. Jamie, yeah, Jamie Watson. Dad, she named someone with the same name as her. What is wrong with this family? <laughs> okay, let me take that again. Photo one, 